Welcome back to Rational Funk. Today, we're going to talk about syncopation and also trading with yourself. What does that What does the What does Dave? What the f does Dave mean by trading? What are we gonna? What are we going to the general store and to do some trading? I'm, I need to get to the store to do some trading. Right, Joe? They don't, we don't do that anymore. We don't, we don't go to the store to do some trading, do we? I used to trade football cards with, with my friends in the 70s and 80s. Did you ever collect football cards, man? Yeah. What'd you have? You want to trade cards after this? Let's stay, let's stay on the drums. But let, do you want to trade cards after this? Yeah. Okay. Let's trade cards. I have a rookie Earl Campbell I can offer up right now in 1978. <laughs> NFL Rookie of the Year as well. Anyway, trading. What does he mean? What the f does Dave mean by trading? I'll tell you what he means. I'll tell you what I mean. Um, I mean, in jazz or something, when someone's saying, well, let's trade fours or trade eights, that means somebody blows a little bit of a solo or a fill type concept for four bars or eight bars, and then somebody else does. And, and uh, you trade back and forth, like, oh, what do you got? I got this, what do you got? Oh, I got this, what do you got? Oh, check this out. <laughs> what do you, what do you, what can you do? A lot of it is sort of like a sword play of sorts, of like this sort of macho, oh yeah, check it out. And then some of it is, you know, can be highly musical. But I like to practice trading because it, it forces you into an improvised situation that has a parameter of how long you're going to do it. So w oftentimes when we're practicing the drums, you can sit down and really just start dinking around and a few hours goes by and you've done nothing really productive because you're just like, <laughs> you're, over there, you're just kind of playing along. All of a sudden you realize this two hours have gone by, you haven't really hit anything. Here's a way you can practice improvising where you give your, you set yourself up with a couple, with, with, with a, a groove that you like, and you do that for eight bars or whatever, and then you improvise the same amount in that feel. Um, um, let's say we're gonna do a pattern of, of, of a groove. I'll give you an example of a cool trade. So if I'm like gonna play some, and this is syncopation, because we're gonna deal with the idea of, you know, kind of a syncopated style of trading right now, and then we'll talk about syncopation. Check it out. There's our groove. So that's, I said, there's our groove. I'm playing the same amount, one, how many bars was that, Joe? One, two, three, four. It's a great thing to practice. Trading eights and, and or trading was that eights or fours? One, eight. parts of the traditions of playing some jazz music, but also really develop your skills as an improviser. And this is, again, some real drum stuff we're talking about. Oftentimes, when I'm um, on a gig, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> let's say the, the saxophonist is like, let's say you're playing standards. You're on some sort of standards gig. <coughs> Sorry. Do we have any more brainstorm? <laughs> I think we're out. Okay. Um, um, in the saxophonist is like, uh, yeah, let, let's trade, or like give you a nod, like well, how does it happen? How does it? Someone might say trade, you and me. 
you and me. What I like to do, just to keep people guessing, um, if you don't know the pe person too well, um, is you pretend like you don't know what they're talking about. If there's any communication on stage, like you and me, something jazz musicians pride themselves on being like super like slick, like going to the head, you know, to play the top, top of form. Or I make a mistake and I go, you know, it's on me. I made that mistake. Or like everything, it, nothing is really like we're going to play now. You know, there's nothing like overly exaggerated. Like come in with the melody. <laughs> it's much more like sly, like looking at you like this. You know, or like, you and me, you know, trade a little bit, you know, like this. And I, I tend to do things where I try to, especially if it's, you know, someone you don't know really well and they're really good, I always try to put myself in a position to make them think like somehow they've done it wrong. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> so here's how you do that. If somebody goes like, you and me, and you're, playing, you're playing along, and then they look at you, and I go, and I look at him like, and I, I'm like, I'm check it out. And they get so like annoyed that um, you're making the audience feel like it's not professional, and then you blow. <laughs> anyway, so you're like, And you make a huge face. And so you, you blow, but you do this sort of old school. You mean like that? And you make them feel like really dumb for wanting to do something like trading. I don't know, I think that could be kind of interesting if you and in general just want to ridicule yourself and someone at the same time, which is very fun to do. That's, I, I remember when I was telling you about that, Joe, where you say something like, somebody says, like, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, I'm not that great, <laughs> you know, doing like the false humility thing, like, man, you sound great. And then like this, <laughs> oh man. And you go, no, really, you don't sound great. And they just look at you. That's how you get the gig. David has brought up the topic of memes, which for me goes back a long ways, back to the beginning of the 90s when I first encountered the term. Apparently I was one of the few people that had ever encountered it. I remember when he was appearing with Happy Apple and bands like that, um, uh, Siamese Fighting Fish for instance, and Dean Granrose was the guitar player and I talked to him about memes and tried to explain that a meme is some idea originating in one person's mind or in a culture that is passed from one mind to another. Of course, it's a popular term today on the internet and people in social media are talking about what meme is traveling across the internet right now. What are you saying? I don't know what you're saying. 